The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 3 is called, Chapter 11 The Heiress, but the installment never explains who the titular character is or why. Warning, contains spoilers for The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 3, Chapter 11 The Heiress. Bo Catton Cries appears in The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 3, Chapter 11 The Heiress, and, while not made explicit in the installment itself, she is the title character. The Mandalorian Season 2 has continued the adventures of Din Djarin and Baby Yoda, as the former attempts to reunite the latter with others of his kind. To do so, he's tracking down others of his kind, fellow Mandalorians, who can point him towards the Jedi. As with Season 1, The Mandalorian Season 2 includes new cast and characters within each episode, and so far the title of each one has referred to a particular newcomer. The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 1, was titled, The Marshal, after Cobb Vanth, the Marshal of Mos Pelgo, while Episode 2 was then called, The Passenger, in honor of Frog Lady, who journeyed with Din aboard the Razor Crest. However, in Episode 3, The Heiress, the titular character isn't quite so obvious. Continue scrolling to keep reading click the button below to start this article in quick view. Played by Katie Sackhoff, The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 3 introduces Bo Katan to a live-action Star Wars setting, having previously appeared in both The Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels, where she was also voiced by Sackhoff. As Bo Katan explains here, she is of Clan Cries and was born on Mandalore, making her a much truer Mandalorian than Din Djarin is, but what's not spoken is that she is, in her mind at least, the heir to the Darksaber and believes herself to be the rightful ruler of Mandalore. So, though tempting it may be to believe that the heiress, is the tadpole baby of Frogman and Frog Lady, and to be fair, there's little to counter that notion, the title does refer to Bo Katan. House Cries was a powerful family on Mandalore, with Bo Catton's sister, Satine, becoming its duchess. Bo Catton, who rejected the pacifist ways her sister believed in, later helped overthrow her rule and establish the Death Watch and its leader, Pre Vizsla, as the ruling power on Mandalore, until Vizsla himself was defeated by Maul. Bo Catton and her Night Owls refused to recognize Maul's authority as a non-Mandalorian, and a civil war ensued. Eventually, Maul was defeated, and Bo Catton was named the Lady of House Cries and Regent of Mandalore. That's a position she wouldn't hold for long since shortly afterward Order 66 was executed and, following that, Bo Catton refused to serve under the Empire, but it's enough to begin to hint at the title, the Heiress. Having fought against the Imperial occupation of Mandalore, Bo Catton was recognized by Clan Wren including Sabine, as the person worthy of wielding the Darksaber and holding the title of Mandalore, the leader of the Mandalorians.